So AccuShape's purpose is simply to assist with getting things to a very particular scale. So we can select this object, and if we press Q, we can go under AccuShape and basically change our units over to inches and set up what we want this to be. So I could just type in 27, and we see that the length and width were adjusted to proportionally fit the amount that was typed in, meaning that if I press spacebar, this object has now been scaled down to be 27 inches high, and everything else has been scaled to fit it accordingly with keeping those values. And that is basically the purpose of AccuShape. However, if we were to press Q and go under AccuShape again and really take a look at what we have here as far as a system, besides the help being a little excessive, and us having just this UI that just was getting a little bit out of control. It was pretty simple. However, we felt it could be better. So as previously mentioned, the dot UI has now taken over for AccuShape. So we can now select our shape, press Q, and we can choose AccuShape V2. With AccuShape V2, you'll now have an anchor set up off the bat that you can deal with. So for this, we want to set our anchor to actually be the front face which means that any scaling that we do will be towards this front face. We could also change it to the back face if needed, which basically will highlight that particular face. We can even click and drag these faces if we want to freely move it. But for the purposes of this example, we actually want to keep everything one to one. So I'm just going to change from feet to inches and I can just click on this. We see that it's flashing, meaning that if I type in 27, we have now scaled it to 27 on the back face. We press space and we've now scaled it down. So with this object now being scaled, it's a lot easier for us to deal with things whenever it comes to AccuShape. Of course, the same edge cases have still been supported, like the ability to uh, select and redraw. For example, I can go in and just press R and just basically draw a different set of bounds for this object. And by pressing space bar, I can set it to those bounds as well. In fact, if I delete this lattice, you'll see that it actually falls back to the previous scale loading amount that was set, which was us setting this to be 27 inches. But just letting you know that improvements have been made with AccuShape in this version of HardOps. And in the event that you want to revert back to a previous version, you can always just press Control K to bring up your HardOps preferences. And under the Properties tab, you can change AccuShape to either be Classic or V2 just on the fly. So that's really just scraping the surface when it comes to AccuShape, but I'll definitely be coming back doing a more focused video on it as time goes on.